creating accessible PDF forms. Chapter 4 Accessibility Check This training video is produced by the Accessibility and Policy Unit of the California Department of Social Services. Once both the auditory and visual form are accessible, it is necessary to perform a few manual checks on the form to ensure it functions appropriately. When ensuring document accessibility, it is important to use the quick checklist to verify all documents are fully accessible. We have covered most of the points in this quick check throughout both the form's accessibility chapters and the PDF accessibility chapters. This chapter is going to focus on checking the form with a screen reader, ensuring a correct tabbing order, and ensuring all form functions operate correctly. Let's investigate how to use a screen reader, such as NVDA, to check a form. First, to turn on NVDA, use the keystroke. Control plus Alt plus N. Then, to navigate from form field to form field, use either the Tab key or the F key. You will hear the tooltip assigned to each form field. This is a great time to listen for possible spelling mistakes, as well as to ensure you have not missed any critical information. Remember, you should receive all visual information through the tooltips of the form in some way or another, such as read only form fields added text in the tooltips, or instructions to enter, browse, mode. While listening you should also have verified that the tab order is correct. If the tab order is different than the tag order for the form fields, this is how you can fix the problem. This was discussed briefly in Chapter 3, and here we present a more detailed description of how this is done. First, you need to ensure the document tabbing properties are set to use document structure. Then, navigate to the page thumbnails. Remember to ensure a page is selected. Choose Pitch Properties from the drop-down menu. Then choose Us Document Structure. Choose OK. Unfortunately, just because the document structure is set correctly, and the tag order is set correctly, this does not always guarantee that the form will operate correctly. This is why a manual check is required. Use the tab key to navigate from form field to form field and ensure the correct order. What should you do if all of your properties are correct, but the form still isn't tabbing correctly? An Adobe glitch sometimes causes the tab order to not function correctly. If this happens, Send the tab order to something other than us document structure. Then navigate to the forms menu under prepare form. Choose order tabs by structure. Save your document and exit Adobe. Then reopen the document and return to the page properties and choose us document structure again. The document should now tab through correctly. Use the tab key to double check the changes were made. Note for radio buttons, the tab key will only navigate to the first radio button option. To ensure all the options of the radio button group work and read out with correct tooltips, use the down arrow. Now that you have checked your radio buttons, how do you clear it? No worries. Choose Prepare Form, then click on the drop down across from More and choose Clear Form. The final step in ensuring form accessibility is to ensure the form field functions properly. Type in a few fields to ensure the text size is appropriate. If you need to make adjustments to the input formatting, navigate to Prepare Form and either right-click on the form field or double-click on the form field to open the Properties window. Under the Appearance tab, you can adjust the font size and style. Other input fields may require the user to type in multiple lines of text. Ensure the properties allow this type of input. When entering the form field, the cursor should be at the top. If the cursor is in the middle of the form field, the settings need to be adjusted. Under the Options tab of the Text Field Properties box, ensure multi line is checked and scroll long text is unchecked. Checking the input fields is an important part of ensuring an accessible functioning form. 
So to review. After building a PDF form, perform an accessibility full check under Accessibility Tools in Adobe Acrobat. Then, perform a manual check using the form's accessibility quick checklist provided by the Accessibility and Policy Unit. As long as everything checks out on both checks, you have made a fully accessible and functional form. An important step in accessibility is ensuring all elements act as they are meant to with assistive technologies. Some elements may not act correctly, or there may be other elements that aren't correctly functioning, which will only be noticed by performing the manual checks described in this chapter. For more information about this topic, or any of the topics in our series, contact the Accessibility and Policy Unit at accessibilitypolicyunit at dss.ca.gov.